I'm proud to be able to say that I've survived everything that life has thrown at me. When I was six months of age, the state children's department shipped me down to Neocol Orphanage outside of Rockhampton. They made a moral judgment about my mother because she was an unmarried mother with a child. The whole existence in Neocol was a regimentation, routine, fear. Every time I demanded my mother, not only did I get a flogging for it, I was told that she was dead. I started to get the impression that life was going to be a mongrel dog. I was determined fairly early age that it would not get to me. So I toughened up. I put a suit of armour on. That's when I made the conscious decision to never ever let fear dominate me again. The biggest thing that was missing in all of our lives was someone to give a damn. Someone that you could look up to. Someone you could trust. About the age of 17, I found my mother. All my life, I had hungered for my mother. And I'm ashamed to say that when I was introduced to her, she was just another stranger. I felt nothing. Three months later, one morning mum just didn't wake up. So I buried mum. The doctor said she died of a heart attack, a massive heart attack. I said, you're a freaking idiot. He said, what you've just seen is a massive broken heart. It is the most beautiful thing in the world for me but things do and can turn around. But you gotta work at it. I have become a successful inventor and I have invented a system for the cleaning, rejuvenation and maintenance of synthetic grass sporting surfaces right around the world. And I'll be making a mozza out of it. Yes, I do have a hard edge to me, but if you can get past the hard exterior, there's a totally different person, one that gives a damn. That sums up my life.